Physics isn't always what it appears to be. Take the lasso, for instance. Anyone coming off this ride will tell you that the force of the ride appears to be directed towards the outside because of the position of the chairs. However, if we take a closer look, we'll quickly discover that Newton's first law of motion has something else in mind altogether. Newton's first law of motion states that an object at rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tends to stay in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. So what, you might say? But keep in mind that in order for any object to move along a curved path, a force must be applied to it. This force will only change the direction, not the speed of the object, and is known in the world of physics as centripetal force. And what does centripetal force have to do with the lasso? Well, think about it for a minute. The ride starts on the ground, and as it begins to accelerate, the chairs start to swing outward. And as they do, any person who happens to be in one of those chairs will soon feel like they're being swung outward as well. Why? Because the momentum created by their body wants to continue in a straight line, as per Newton's law of motion. And what's preventing them from moving in a straight line? Exactly, the chain that's attached to the chair. And this chain, which represents the unbalanced force that Newton was referring to, is directed inward. Therefore, the direction of the force, as well as the acceleration, is towards the center of the curve, not the outside, like many people think. Still not convinced? All right, the same law of motion that we just discussed at the lasso can also be applied to another Darien Lake favorite, the UFO. In this instance, anyone on this ride will tell you that the force is once again moving outward because it feels like his or her body is being pinned against the wall. But as with the lasso, centripetal force is once again in play. And this time, instead of telling you, we're going to show you. And to help us with this demonstration, we're going to use a homemade accelerometer. An accelerometer is designed to show the direction of force. For example, if the force is away from the person holding it, the bobber will move to the opposite side of the container. And if the force is toward the person holding it, then the bobber will move toward that person. With that said, it stands to reason that if a person were to hold the accelerometer while on the ride, and the bobber moved away from the person toward the center, then it would prove once and for all that centripetal force is at work. And there's your proof, folks. Even though our rider feels like they're being pushed against the outside of the ride, the bobber is in fact moving toward the center of the ride. So the next time you find yourself moving in a circular motion, don't forget to think about Sir Isaac Newton and a little something called centripetal force.